Of course, Benny Napoleon were leading in the polls, but all of a sudden she's trending up and she's nipping at the heels in third place and has some polling data that shows the city of Detroit might be perfectly well ready for a female mayor. She's on the other end of our AT&T line. Thank you and welcome back to the program. Good morning, Michael. This is pretty uh, overwhelming here. 80.9% of people in the city of Detroit would vote for a female for mayor. Absolutely. I'm finding every time that uh, the residents and voters of Detroit learn about my candidacy, learn about my vision for Detroit, which includes uh, a safe community where we have balanced books, people are working, taking care of their families, uh, their children feel protected and have an opportunity to become educated in Detroit. Uh, my message is resonating with them, and they welcome that they do have a choice now uh, for mayor and that it's not about uh, the perceived uh, two front runners. 21% undecided. Mike Duggan at 31%, uh, Benny Napoleon at 25%. You're at, I think, uh, 10% or something like that. So, the, you know, I mean, there's still work to be done over the next couple of months, but uh, you're the one who's trending upwards. Absolutely correct. You know, for the past several months, many polls have been published, and these two gentlemen have not, you know, they've hovered around uh, the 30% mark where, where you heard um, quoted there. So it's true that, um, you know, my numbers are going up. I expect that they would go up even higher. And um, when you think about some of the negative campaigning that they may do against each other, who knows, um, you may see their numbers trending down, as a matter of fact. Let me ask you, just out of curiosity, what do you think of the idea that, uh, that the works of the Institute of Arts, according to the emergency manager, might be sold off in order to pay bills? Uh, it's, uh, you never want to take your assets that have the uh, value, number one, that the art does at, um, at, the, at the museum and use that to settle debt. Assets are something that puts money into your pocket, generates additional revenue, use those proceeds to pay off the debt. Don't sell the art. But does the DIA make money? There's ways that they could, um, Michael. I'm sure that if they were able to leverage, you know, additional ways that uh, through exhibits, um, you know, how other major museums would generate revenue, it's just something that it's a big part of our culture. You have people who visit our city um, to, to visit the museum, and the economic activity that comes from that uh, is important. You know, so I don't think that it's, it's in our best interest to sell the art in order to settle the debt. You be, will you be knocking on doors today? I certainly will. We've got the team out, um, you know, uh, working in the neighborhoods. Uh, we've got young people who are joining Team House. We had a debate just the other night that I talked to you about before. Yep. And there are some young people who said, hey, I, I like what you have to say. You know, I was leaning your way before, but now I'm convinced that you should be our next mayor.